Hi and good morning. I'm Vicki Liviakis and welcome to Body Beautiful. It's the show where we talk with local doctors about the latest in cosmetic procedures and we take your calls live on the air. And with us today, we have a cosmetic dentist, Dr. or rather, yes, co plastic dentist, surgeon. plastic surgeon. Hello, <laughs> Dr. Joseph Mealy, followed by Dr. Daria Gafapur. She's the cosmetic dentist. Yes. Later, we'll be taking your calls and emails with any questions you might have. Here's the phone number, 800-440-4884. We'll also be posting that phone number uh, to the doctor's offices. So get your pen and paper ready for those. And before we get started, our disclaimer, any advice we give you today, obviously you're going to want to consult your own physician, okay? Let's jump right into it. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, we, we, we had a chance to chit-chat a little bit uh, off stage, and uh, what I find just fascinating, what you, you're, you're a plastic surgeon, you've done a lot, reconstructive, burn. What got you into this in the first place? Well, plastic surgery is a uh, wide, wide open uh, area. The thing that got me interested originally was hand surgery, which has not as much to do with what I'm doing now as what got me interested. The uh, place where I learned about hand surgery was up at UC Davis, and many of the surgeons doing that were either plastics or orthopedics, so I toyed with the two. Plastic surgery had a lot more to offer, certainly more variety in terms of the ages of patients, the types of procedures we do, the areas that we work. And then when I saw the cosmetic side, it just it totally made sense. Yeah, well, it's fascinating. I mean, it's so intricate, uh, the hand, and then also you said facial. I, I'm assuming from accidents, car accidents, uh, you know, trying to reconstruct. Uh, yes, well, well, plastic comes from the word plasticos, which means to change. And sometimes things are changed dramatically. We need to change them back. Sometimes things are normal, and we're trying to make them better. All right. Well, you know, I, I'm personally interested in this, having been in a car accident, in a sports car accident. And uh, thank goodness for the uh, reconstructive surgeons to put things back together again. Uh, you also made the statement, though, about uh, you, can, you can fix it, you can put it back together, but uh, you have to rely it, on the body. It's teamwork. It's teamwork. We can rearrange the parts, put them back where they belong, but the body has to heal. All right. We are talking about beauty here. Now, a lot of people... Uh, you know, are interested in this extreme makeover. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into that. A couple mm -hmm. of procedures, uh, you know, is it, is it possible to do more than one? Is it advisable to do more than one it procedure? It certainly is possible. And there are several procedures that really are complementary. Uh, when you put them together, the results are better than the two parts separate. Uh, but when you start combining many, many procedures, it gets to the point of diminishing return, and it may even become unsafe. Yeah. Uh, for most of the things we do, the cosmetic surgeries, they're major surgery, they require anesthesia uh, and require monitoring and such. And if we put them together you know, appropriately, it works very well. We have some footage of your office in Walnut Creek. Uh, let's uh, get a look here and, and explain what we're seeing here. I'm doing a consultation here with a computer. There are some procedures like rhinoplasty, chin augmentation, some of the facial stuff that actually are very, it's very helpful to have a computer to simulate what can be done. Uh, and now we're showing some laser treatments. Uh, laser is also very exciting. Uh, it's a tool that we use. Uh, I use it probably most frequently with my cosmetic procedures to decrease the color of a scar and make it go away faster, but it can also be used for pigmented lesions, for fine wrinkles, uh, tattoo removal, many other things. And we, we actually, in, in previous shows, we've gotten a lot of calls about that, about scar tissue and uh, you know the ability to kind of make it go away. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're saying that lasers and tattooing... Lasers can enhance uh, the appearance, especially if a scar remains red or it's red for for a long period of time, you can tune a laser to be absorbed by the hemoglobin in the blood, which makes the blood vessels go away and the color go away. Okay. Liposuction is a very popular surgery. Um, what should people know before they, uh, they, they launch into something like that? Well, liposuction, it's, it's excellent at spot removal. Uh, it's excellent for removing areas that are just stubborn, that won't go away. Uh, the best patients are probably people who are already in shape. They've got areas that are just persistent, and we can go in, and instead of trying to lose weight where it goes away, wherever the body's programmed for it to lose, you can pick the place where you want it to go and get rid of those disproportional areas. Okay, uh, and for more information, uh, for folks who want to call your office uh, directly for Dr. Mealy, uh, you can dial 925-943-6353 or go to drmealy.com. We'll be taking your phone calls. Uh, the, f the phone lines are already lighting up. Uh, and with any questions you might have about cosmetic surgery with Dr. Mealy, when we come back on Body Beautiful.